Hey guys, this is Lindsay with Garage Gym Reviews and I am back with another roundup which truth be told is one of my favorite things to do because I love comparing products and I love finding out what makes a product good and what makes one bad or maybe what makes one good for a specific person. So today we are going to talk about the most budget-friendly ellipticals. We've done a full roundup on this and then we ask ourselves questions so like what is the overall value? Are these sturdy machines? Do they have programming? What is their price point compared to others? So overall we've asked ourselves a lot of questions in this testing process and we've come up with a list. Now I'm only going to talk about a few of these today because it is a long extensive list. And nobody wants to hear me talk about ellipticals for 40 minutes, but we do have a fantastic full written article on our website. We place a link below the like button if you want more information about any of the products I talk about today, or maybe there's one that I don't mention and you're curious if it's on that roundup list, go ahead and check out that list. Also, make sure you're subscribed to our channel so you can continue to see videos just like this one today. And if you want to purchase any of the products we talked about, we place a link below the like button. When you use that link, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does give us a small commission. And that's how we continue to do videos like this one. And lastly, some of these have been said to us by the company, but it doesn't change what I am going to say. I will always call out what I don't like and be honest and truthful to you. And we just like to say that for transparency's sake. Okay, so now that all of that is out the way, let's go ahead and start our roundup on the best budget-friendly ellipticals. Okay, so the first one we are going to talk about is the Horizon EX59. I think this is an overall really good elliptical. It doesn't come with programming, it doesn't come with any smart features, and truth be told, the screen on this is overly basic. It will show you your basic things like you want to know, so all your metrics like calories burned, distance, time elapsed, so on and so forth, but it doesn't have any sort of extra features that come along with that screen. However, it is at $700, which is a fantastic price point. Now, a couple of things about this machine that I want to call out and just kind of mention about things I like and I don't like. One, I really like that they're oversized foot pedals and have a long stride length of 18 inches. What I like to see when I'm looking at elliptical is at least a stride length of 18 to 20 inches and that meets that mark. The other thing that I really like about it is it has dual handlebars. One is fixed and then one moves in tandem with your feet. I like this fact because sometimes getting on or off elliptical can be tricky, so having those fixed handlebars in place is a really big benefit to us. Now, one thing that I feel like is a little confusing to me is it does come with a lighter flywheel. Typically, what we look for is a 16-pound flywheel to meet like a quality elliptical, but this only has a 14.3-pound flywheel. However, throughout all of our testing, shaking it, moving it, throw wraps at it. No, I'm just kidding, we did do that. But we did do a lot of testing to check for its durability and this so far has met our mark and continue to show us it is a stable machine. Now, one thing that I like and I don't like is the convenience factor. It does have one small water bottle holder as well as some like side dishes for you to put your wallet and your keys. I do wish that it had a larger water bottle holder. However, you can still place like a small plastic disposable water bottle on that. Overall, I mean, it's nice that it has that feature, but I do wish that the cup holder was a little bit bigger. At 145 pounds, you would think that this would be a harder machine to move around, but overall, it actually didn't take much effort. It has wheels on the front and handlebars on the back, making it really easy to move around. And so I think that most people could do this by themselves. Now, would I want to be moving around a 145 pound six foot long machine every time I wanted to use it? No, like just keep it in one place. But if you have to move it around, I do think one person can easily do that. Okay, next up is the Soul E25. Now, I absolutely love this elliptical. And if it hadn't been for the fact that it has been rising in cost of $300 plus more in the last coming years, I'd probably choose this as my favorite elliptical. But because of that fact, it is not necessarily budget friendly. It's at a cost point of $1,200. So still when you compare it to some of the commercial ellipticals out there, it does qualify as like a budget friendly cost. But we compare it to the other ellipticals in this roundup, it's definitely the most expensive one. One thing I really like about this, and this is probably why I'm so drawn to the Soul E25, is it has an incline feature and it really gets your heart rate up. So on this, you can go ahead and pedal forward, backwards, or go ahead and raise that incline and use that incline feature. Again, either forward or backwards, you're going to have a lot of variety in the movements that you use, which 
I think is really great for the body. Along with the E25, it has pulling fans, which actually did a decent job. I mean, in terms of like an exercise equipment fan goes. It also has built-in Bluetooth speakers. They created a really quality sound as I was listening to them, as I connected them to my device, I was able to clearly hear them out of the speakers. Now, one thing to mention about this is it has no force stabilizer. So if you are somebody who doesn't live in a perfectly level surface and that is where you want to put the elliptical, I would say don't get this. I do wish it had force stabilizers, but that is not the case. So far, it hasn't been a huge factor, but when we raise the incline, when we start going at higher speeds, and it isn't on a level surface, you really start to know a little bit of play and a little bit of shift as you're using the machine. One thing I think that is great about this, it has a 20 pound flywheel, which I think is ideal. I love to see that. It just means that that machine is going to be long lasting. It really speaks to the longevity of the machine and also the stability of the machine. Now, last thing about this is definitely pay for white glove delivery service. Have somebody kind of assemble this for you. This is overall not a friendly beginner build, okay? This is like a two hour, two person job, maybe even more. So if you can't afford the white glove delivery service on this, I would say absolutely do that. Okay, next is the Proform Carbon EL. Now, one thing that I want to speak about first with the Proform Carbon EL is it connects with iFit programming. This is a little bit different than what we have seen with the first two ellipticals we talked about. When you connect with iFit programming, obviously you do have to pay a monthly subscription cost. The cost is $180 a year for an individual or $39 a month for a family membership that holds up to five user profiles. I think that iFit is a fantastic program. So if you are looking for some external motivation and you want to follow along with a class, I would say that iFit is one of the best bets out there. Now, this is only priced at $800, which I think is a fantastic price point. But again, keep in mind that you're going to be paying that monthly subscription to the iFit. So make sure you factor that in. I will also note that this Proform Elliptical is one of the quietest ellipticals that we tested. And I am not surprised. Proform is a sister company of Nordic Track, and Nordic Track is known to make quality, quiet ellipticals or treadmills. So really, I'm not surprised that a Proform Elliptical is ultra quiet. One thing I love about this, it has a 20 degree incline as well as 18 levels of resistance. So whatever work intensity you're looking for, it has the ability to bring that to you. So if you are looking to do just like an easy pace, you can do that. Or if you are looking for like max effort, raise that incline, raise that resistance, and you are going to jack up your heart rate. Last thing about this is it is a heavier machine weighing 200 pounds. So keep that in mind if you are wanting to move it around. It does have wheels on the front, but again, 200 pounds, for one person to move around every time they want to use it, it's probably just going to be really annoying, truth be told. All right, last on the list today is the Proform Hybrid Freighter. So again, you have that Proform function, so you have that programming available with it. But the thing that I like about this is that it's a hybrid. So let's say you've asked yourself the age-old question, do I want a recovery bike or do I want a elliptical? I know that that question for me keeps me up at night, okay? So if you are like me and you've asked yourself that question a million times, Fear no more because Proform has come to our aid and given us the best of both worlds. This is a two-in-one cardio machine costing around $700. Overall, I don't think that you can beat that. It comes with fantastic programming and then also it's that hybrid function. So you can go ahead and recline the seat, use it as a recumbent bike or go ahead and raise the pedals and use it as an elliptical. Overall, changing from a recumbent bike to an elliptical is super easy to do. Now this does have a lighter flywheel at only 13 pounds, but for the most part, I feel like this is a stable machine. Now, would I push the intensity on this if I was at that higher weight capacity? Probably not. But I think if you are well under that weight capacity, you can really start to push the intensity and not notice a lot of play in the machine. But is this the most stable machine that I have used? No. And I think a big factor in that is it is only 170 pounds. So you have the lighter flywheel. It's a lighter weight in machine. So overall, you just can't expect it to be the most durable or like stable machine while in use. But for under $800 and for a hybrid machine that comes on with programming, I think this is a really good one to check out. Again, if there are any details I miss or you wanted more thorough analysis, we have a link under our like button that brings you to the written article of all of these ellipticals and more. I hope that this helped and I hope that you meet all of your fitness goals that you have for yourself this year. This has been Lindsay with Grasher Reviews. Peace.